Hello, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the Decida head unit on the 2021 Toyota RAV4 XLE non-hybrid. So on this particular video, we're just gonna talk about the issue most iPhone users uh, connecting to their mobile hotspot. Me, at first, I'm having issues connecting this particular head unit on my iPhone's hotspot. I'll show you right now what I'm talking about. So let me just turn this on and join me. All right, so the device or the head unit is starting up now and let's wait for it. So while we're waiting for this one, I'm gonna go on my phone. I'm gonna turn on my mobile hotspot And I'm going to go to Wi-Fi in here. And my network name or the mobile hotspot is Forge Garage. And password is subscribe. So with this one, uh, it will try to connect. It will show wrong password. Even I have the correct mobile hotspot password in there. So as you can see in the screen, I have the correct password. I entered it and still says wrong. So to fix this issue, first let's delete the old one. And remember, it shows here WPA3, and that's the issue. All right, so that's the issue. So we have to click forget. We need to go back to this one. And then we need to add network. So we need to manually enter the name, the SSID name, which is the network name. This is Forge Garage. Click done and then on this one on the security make sure you are selecting WPA WPA2 personal do not select anything else just WPA2 personal and you need to enter the password because the the site ahead unit is not compatible with the WPA3 which is the personal hotspot of the iPhone is defaulting to all right let's click done and let's go back here so you see here it should show WPA2 now and it says we are connected so let's try this one out. Let's go to YouTube and let's just search my page here. And there you go. So you can see here, it's very quick. If you haven't watched my latest video, make sure you watch this. If you wanna join the giveaway, just watch the instructions. It's gonna be in there. But yeah, so this is the way uh, to fix that particular issue on this one so yeah so as you see here again it's working properly flawlessly I never have issue uh, working on this one or using this particular hotspot again this is only affecting mostly iPhone users uh, because it's defaulting to WPA3 personal so if you have an Android phone, you might have this issue if it's on the WPA3 uh, profile or the security for the hotspot. So, but other than that, basically, that's it. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.